Ang permutation, by definition, is arrangement of items in a particular order. So, ang order ay important doon sa pag-arrange ng mga items natin kapag permutation yung ginagamit natin. So, ang kahalagahan ng permutation is matututunan natin kung paano bilangin kung ilang beses natin pwedeng i-arrange or pag uh, haluhaluin yung mga positions ng isang items. At given yan ng formula ng n factorial all over n minus r factorial. So, ito yung formula na ginagamit para makuha natin yung number of ways a particular set of items can be arranged. So, example ng permutation notation wherein wala pang word problem pero yung uh, notation pa lang is this example here. Let's evaluate 7 permutation of 3 which basically giving you 7 as your n and 3 is your R. Now, tandaan nyo na ang value of N nyo is laging mas malaki kesa sa value ng R. Now, ito yung ating notation for the permutation. We have 7 P or permutation of 3. Para may masolve natin tong problem na to, gagamitin lang natin yung formula. So, by direct substitution, N is 7 and R is equal to 3, we'll have 7 factorial all over 7 minus 3 factorial. Now, ang 7 minus 3 is equal to 4, so we'll end up with 7 factorial all over 4 factorial. And by evaluation, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial, you cancel out 4 factorial and you'll end up with 210. So in this particular problem, by direct substitution, ang permutation ng 7P3 is 210. Now, since ang permutation ay mahalagang gamit sa statistics, i-apply natin to sa word problem na sasagutan natin dito sa example na to. So, this example, we have Dallin, Matt, Christian, Maya, and Austin, and they are in a race. Now, how many possible ways of first, second, third places can come out in this race. So, ang gagawin natin na hanapin natin yung possible combination or ways na kung saan magkakaroon tayo ng first, second, and third. So, ang unang combination yan, pwedeng first to Dallin, second to Matt, second to Christian. Or pwede rin namin first to Austin, second to Matt, and third si Maya. So, ma bibilangin natin yung kung ilang possible ways na magkakaroon tayo ng first, second, and third place dito sa um, karera na to. So, to find or to solve our permutation problem, kailangan lang natin hanapin yung value ng n at yung value ng r. Ang value ng n dito ay yung inyong number of sample, which is 5, kasi lima yung nakabilang doon sa race. So, we have 5, at yung repetition natin will be 3, so yun yung ating number of ways na kailangan i-arrange yung ating problem. So, npr, so 5 permutation of 3, Using the formula n factorial over n minus r factorial, direct substitution, and you'll have 5 factorial all over 5 minus 3 factorial, which gives you 60. So that means there are 60 possible ways of arranging um, this particular group of people for its first, second, and third places. So ang kailangan nyo lang malaman sa pagsagot ng word problems involving permutation is mahanap kung anong value ng n at ano ang value ng r. Now, isang type ng uh, uh, permutation problem is problem tulad nitong example na to. So, dito naman, hindi natin gagamitin yung formula ng permutation which is n factorial all over n minus r factorial. Dito naman, mag arrange lang tayo ng mga possible ways ng arrangement ng isang word. So, in this example, how many different ways can you arrange the words banana and barstow? So, sa banana, ang kailangan lang natin unang gawin is sanapin yung n or yung ilang total number of letters ang ginagamit sa word na banana. At meron tayong anim. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 letters. Now, sa word na banana, may mga letters na nauulit. Sa letter B, na, hindi siya naulit. So, meron tayong isang B sa word na banana. Sa letter A, meron tayong tatlo. 1, 2, and 3. At sa N or letter N, meron tayong dalawa. Now, Para makuha natin or mabilang natin kung ilang possible ways or ilang possible words ang pwede natin i-arrange sa so word na banana, it's basically yung in yung sample size na 6 factorial all over the number of your letters and its repetition. So you have 1 factorial, 3 factorial, and 2 factorial. So you have 6 factorial all over those numbers. 
I-evaluate nyo siya. So, you have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All over 1. 3 times 2 times 1. And 2 times 1. And by cancellation, you will be left with 6 times 5 times 4. All over 2. So, therefore, kung gusto nyo malaman kung ilang ways nyo ma-arrange yung mga letters sa word na banana, there are actually 60 ways on how to do it. So, ito yung isa sa mga uh, permutation problem na pwede nyong sagutan using this particular method. So, kung number 2 naman, ang bar stone naman ang ating i-hahanapan uh, ng mga number of ways. So, alam natin na may pitong letters sa word or sa salitang barstow, B-A-R-S-T-O-W, at mapapansin nyo na walang umuulit na letra sa word na barstow. So, ibig sabihin, gagamitin lang lahat, natin, lahat ng letra dun sa um, word or salitang barstow at gagamitin natin siya as denominator. So, yung numerator nyo will be N, which is 7, kasi 7 yung letters sa word na barstow, at yung mga factorials nyo na ngayon ay puros 1 lang. So, kung puro 1 lang yan, magiging 1 lang yung denominator, so you'll have 7 factorial, and by evaluating 7 factorial, which is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, will give you 5,000 40 ways. So, meron tayong halos li, um, higit sa limang libong ways kung paano natin may arrange yung bar stove. 